Good morning. I will be reading from Psalm chapter 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation, so why should I be afraid? I will also be reading from Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 27. So I tell you, don't worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food, drink, and clothes. Doesn't life consist of more than food and clothing? Look at the birds. They don't need to plant or harvest or put food in barns because your heavenly Father feeds them. And you are far more valuable to him than they are. Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? Of course not. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Everyone is dealing with some sort of Goliath in their lives. In the story, the Israelites feared Goliath. They feared that they were going to get hurt or die. Even though we know David wasn't afraid to stand up to Goliath, he still might have been scared on the inside that he could get hurt or die. But David did not let his giant control him. He did not let his fear control him. Sometimes we find ourselves staying in our comfort zones because of our fear. The number one fear is public speaking. We also fear failure, rejection, and the unknown. Usually, the things we are afraid of won't physically hurt us. So why are we afraid of these things that cannot hurt us? I admit, I've remained in my comfort zone when things started to get difficult or uncomfortable. When I was accepted to Olivet Nazarene University, I had the opportunity to apply for the honors program. Their program accepts 30 students out of the 5,000 undergraduates they have at the university. I didn't want to apply at first. I was afraid of having to go through the interviews. I was afraid I'd answer the questions wrong and in the end I'd be rejected. I was also afraid all of my hard work would be for nothing. However, my mother encouraged me to apply. <laughs> through the entire process, I let fear be my guiding compass. God gives us obstacles to face. We have the decision to rise up to the challenge or let our fear guide us. We can decide to do what is easy and comfortable, but that lets our fear become an enemy that controls us. Sometimes we see our giants or fears as an enemy but our fears can help us learn to expand our comfort zone. I did end up getting into Olivet's Honors College, but even if I hadn't, I would have learned a valuable lesson. I took a chance and stepped out of my comfort zone. I trusted that God had a plan for me and had my back. David trusted in God and did not let his giant stop him from following God's plan. As Christians, one of our goals is to continually grow through Christ, even when facing the trials life throws at us. When we have God by our side and we don't let our giants and fears control us, who do we need to fear?
I dream. Sometimes too much. I dream of a place that is perfect. A place where my people are happy. I want my people happy. I want my people safe. I want my people together. I want my people to love. Sometimes I dream too hard. I think I dream too much. Yeah, I dream sometimes. Sometimes too much. I wrote this poem almost a year ago. Even though I'm, I'm the author, I still am not sure why I wrote this. But it's how I was feeling at the time. But now looking back at it, I think I know why I wrote this. I intended for this to be my goal in the future. In my eyes, this is how I see the future. However, there are things blocking this path. There are giants in the way. I had a talk with God. Why do I feel like I'm always a problem? Why am I not okay? I asked. God asked me, what makes you think you're not okay? My response was, what? I didn't know what I was doing or where I was going. I didn't know how I felt. Sometimes I never feel at home. God told me, keep moving, find a home, and find who you are. You are something. You just have to find it. I became angry with God. I asked God, do you even know who I am? That adventurous part of me is long gone. That once wide-eyed kid, he's now a tired-eyed kid, soon to be a tired-eyed man. I was starting to believe God didn't understand the situation. This kid is lost. Lost in the world, lost in his faith, lost in himself. Just lost. But that's what giants do. They get in our way and start to make us feel like we are lost. We get overwhelmed by the giants we must face to get to the future that we dream of. In the midst of these giants, this is what I know. I need God. I want you to know I love you. I don't show it well, but I do. You want me to show emotion, but I refuse. Because I love you, that's why. Because I'm lost, that's why. Because I can't, that's why. I'm hoping you can forgive me. I haven't been thinking clearly. I can't help but feel so dreary. I do need you. Please don't leave me. You try to pick me up and reach for my hand, but I'm not accepting it because I don't think I can stand. I still love you though. I just thought you should know. Okay. I'm I am going to read to you a reverse spoken word that I wrote. A reverse spoken word is a poem that is read from top to bottom and then from bottom to top. The meaning of the poem will change when I read it in reverse. The words will be printed on the screen so you can follow along. I'm done. Yes, I am. Am I even worthy to be a part of God's kingdom? Is it possible? I thought I was growing with God's help. My mind is made up. God does not love me. The biggest lie I tell myself is, God has big plans for me because I am special. But I know now I am right where I am supposed to be. 
I am insignificant. I would be wrong to say I have purpose and am worthy of God's grace. I'm telling you now it's untrue. I covered my pain with my smile and laugh. I'm tired of all the lies. I'm not good enough for God. There is no way I need God's help. But I have given up on my past self because I try to fight on my own. I will always lose. But I know now, yes I do, that I don't deserve God's help or love. You can't convince me. From now on, I will ignore the thoughts. I am loved and one of God's children. You're wrong though. Depression has consumed me. I thought, God helped me get through my depression, but I was so wrong about everything. I am powerless. God must have created a mistake. I know now it always has been and always will be true. With God, I am strong. Actually, no, that is not possible. I am so weak. I don't need God. You can never convince me God loves me unconditionally. It'll be all right despite that. I will always struggle, I know. I will always struggle, I know. It'll be all right despite that. God loves me unconditionally. You can never convince me I don't need God. I am so weak. Actually, no, that is not possible. With God, I am strong. It always has been and always will be true. I know now I am powerless. God must have created a mistake. But I was so wrong about everything. God helped me get through my depression. I thought, depression has consumed me. You're wrong though. I am loved and one of God's children. From now on, I will ignore the thoughts. You can't convince me that I don't deserve God's help or love. But I know now, yes I do. I will always lose because I try to fight on my own. But I've given up on my past self. I need God's help. There is no way I'm not good enough for God. I'm tired of all the lies. I covered my pain with my smile and laugh. I'm telling you now, it's untrue. I have purpose and am worthy of God's grace. I would be wrong to say I'm insignificant. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. But I know now, God has big plans for me because I am special. The biggest lie I tell myself is, God does not love me. My mind is made up. I thought I was growing with God's help. Is it possible? Am I even worthy to be a part of God's kingdom? Yes, I am. I'm done. Dear Lord, as we offer ourselves to you, no matter how big or small we are, we ask for your guidance to help us conquer the giants in our lives. Please guide us in using our gifts to help those in need conquer their giants as well. Amen. Go with the good news and remember God is always with you. Don't be afraid of the giants in your way. With God, you know anything is possible. So step into the fight. He's right there by your side. The stones inside your hand might be small, but watch the giants fall.